The Green Home Grant is a new government scheme that will see one and a half billion pounds worth of vouchers issued to the public spend on installing energy efficiency to gain energy efficiency advice. Here's your bite-sized guide to the Green Homes Grant. The Green Home Grant is part of the government's economic stimulus package. They see investing in energy efficiency as a great way of creating jobs, as well as reducing household bills and cutting carbon too. The Green Home Grant is planned to start on the 30th of September and it will end on the 31st of March 2021. That's right, all of the £1.5 billion has to be spent in those six months. Obviously, in the short term, that's a great boost to the energy efficiency sector, potentially growing the market by over 200%. However, we hope the investment will continue beyond March to avoid boom and bust. We should know more about that after the comprehensive spending review this autumn. Remember, the Conservative Party promised several billion pounds for energy efficiency in its manifesto. Members of the public and landlords can obtain a voucher for up to 75% of the cost of installing energy efficiency measures, up to 5,000 pounds. Householders on lower incomes can claim a 10,000 pound voucher, which can be used to cover the full cost of the works. Every homeowner or landlord, including social landlords in England, are eligible for the scheme. But the scheme is not available in the rest of the UK. If you were hoping that the Green Home Grant was another scheme just to fit new gas boilers, think again. This is all about low carbon. Now there are primary measures and there are secondary measures. Primary measures are all the main kinds of insulation cavities, lofts, external internal walls and floors. It's also about low carbon heat and that means heat pumps and biomass. Secondary measures include replacing single glazed windows, doors and heating controls. Voucher holders can apply for a secondary measure too but only up to the value of the primary measure. So if you were to spend two and a half thousand pounds on insulation you could also claim two and a half thousand pounds to spend on new windows or doors. Homeowners are being told that only installers that are registered with Trustmark can be used. To be Trustmark registered, you must comply with PAS 2030, the installer standard. You can be accredited under the 2017 or the 2019 version of the standard for the purposes of the Green Homes Grant. The projects that are assessed to be high risk, such as protected buildings or high rise, will need to be delivered under the PAS 2035 standard. And that means only PAS 2030-2019 installers can work on those types of projects. It also means whole dwelling assessment and it means retrofit coordinators. Well, this is one of the best bits of the Green Home Grant. Yes, homeowners will be able to pay for a retrofit coordinator using a voucher. And that means homeowners can get impartial, expert advice that will enable them to create a long-term plan to make their home more energy efficient and reduce carbon too. We're not 100% sure yet. The government are directing homeowners to the Simple Energy Advice website to get information. They're appointing a scheme administrator and further details on how to apply will be available on or before the 30th of September. Again, we're waiting for more details. The Simple Energy Advice website links to Trustmark, which provides the names of approved installers, but it's not exactly user-friendly at the minute. A much more user-friendly service is being developed. Take a look at retrobook.co.uk for more details. For the latest news and information about the Green Homes Grant, please follow the Retrofit Academy on social media. You can see the links at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for listening.